Hi, my YouTuber friends and all my subscribers. We have uh, Redmi Note 8 to replace the LCD screen. So the very first thing you always do is remove the SIM card. So we remove the SIM card. Put it on the side. Okay, now in this particular model, what we have to do is heat this area. Okay, remove the back cover, and then I tell you what you have to do. So, I do have a hot plate, but you can do it on a conventional heat gun also by heating just this area. Okay, so I'm going to do it hot plate. So I'm going to heat it on 91 degrees centigrade for like two minutes or something. I'll show you in a minute. There are few precautions you need to take. First of all, you need to use a glove because when you're going to heart it, you need to pick it back. So I don't want you damage your hands. So another precaution is in this particular model uh, there you need to use a trick my trick is which have been you know proven for many years now using this protector this is the mobile phone protector nowadays we don't use them but at the start we used to use them but now I take work from them while opening these uh, back of almost all model for today and the reason is because when we go underneath okay there may be some cable especially antenna cable on this side and so many things can happen or even this uh, back cover can damage so what we gonna do heat it make a little space and when we get the space we slide this protector in and then keep moving this protector on the edges until it's open and uh, the thing you need to note uh, there's a finger scanner so when we open the back cover we don't need to put the too much you know like this and damage the cable so we make sure you use the stop a little bit and then with the help of something you will see all you have to do is open and disconnect this and so i was actually waiting for the hard plate to be heated i show you in a minute like this i'm gonna be heating it like for two minutes or something and uh, you can see the temperature I have set it on 91 which is rising so like this but you can do it on normal heat gun also which is this one now it's heated enough Let's see if you let us in. Two benefit of this. One is this back cover won't damage. And secondly, nothing inside any. We can make little bit space with something like this, sharp, flexible. But then once we are in we won't be putting it too much inside you understand like this sliding out on
so here we have we just open it but don't do it like this make sure there's a cable inside okay and like this like to show you what I was talking about this cable you see now now you can disconnect it with your fingernails and that's the open on the side now I show you the new LCD this is the new LCD so for connecting the new LCD <coughs> this go here we need to open this screw and uh, well my all videos are long I don't use edit and uh, the reason behind I don't use edit because I want to explain each and every step without skipping without fast forwarding or without edit because <coughs> my video is for newcomers who just want to learn you know master al already know the everything so this is for learning purpose I can remove the glove we will need the glove once more time because we need to heat the LCD for removing but uh, whenever you are removing the LCD or replacing the LCD always make sure before removing the old LCD make sure the new LCD is working fine and then you need to remove it because once you remove it from the frame and happen to your LCDs uh, you know damage or something then you can't give back the mobile to the customer and there will be problem because these days nobody want to leave their phone more than one hour two hours something like that so what we are going to remove the battery first in every time whenever you are removing anything um, or replacing the camera replacing the LCD always make sure you remove the battery first connect the LCD and then connect the battery okay never ever do uh, connected the battery because there are so many chances of uh, being short circuit so now I have checked earlier this mobile have the battery low so I might need to charge a bit to see if the if the LCD is working fine so might need to pause the video for like two minutes or something or maybe five minutes until the LCD turn on and we can check the LCD status let's see if it let me turn on if it turn on you can check now but if it won't might need to wait like five minutes or something yeah I just turned off that's mean it's need to be charged so guys I'll be back like in five minutes bear with me so after charge a little bit I can just manage to turn it on the LCD uh, and the mobile phone and I can check that LCD is working fine so if you can see in the camera maybe you can see and another thing you need to put the LCD on somewhere something flat at the moment the problem is my mobile phone is on charging so that's why I cannot disconnect and uh, put the LCD normally I put the LCD here and then check well I have just checked the LCD is working fine so make sure your LCD is working fine then we need to do the second process the second process is turning off the mobile phone 
or you can just disconnect the battery it doesn't matter so now for removing the LCD we also need to disassemble these screws because this this flex I think it's thicker so now we hit it again by facing down okay like for three four minutes or something so we can remove the LCD install the new one <coughs> like this okay I'll be heating this facing down for say three four minutes five doesn't matter on the same temperature Now it's hot enough. So need to make little space. We need to keep sliding this. The LCD is out and uh, we need to open this also as I told you before if the screws are in you know in different in size Hello. so as I can see those all the screws are in the same length so I don't need because this repairing mat have here this section where you can uh, you know keep your screws on exact position but these normally used for iPhone because in iPhone you have a uh, different uh, size of screws in this particular model almost all screws are same in length so now this speaker board is out and now we have access to this cable and now what we have left with this okay this is the earpiece shield so we need to remove this and install it on the new LCD for removing we need to heat it I just heat it now
if you have seen any of my previous video I always focus on cleaning this area thoroughly the reason behind it uh, the LCD does have very small and thin area to glue so if you don't clean it you can damage the LCD or your LCD does not sit on their position and which will cause so many problems so I'll be removing all the glass shattered pieces make sure you use a cloth because I don't want to damage your finger because this is very sharp crystal Keep cleaning until you are very satisfied, not satisfied, very satisfied. Because a little piece of crystal or little bit of dust can ruin all of your repairing, all of your work. Will be a total waste. Now I need to see the this stuff. I'll go about it. I think it will be like this.
So now we make sure there is a light sensor, bueno, one LED, the light, and then there is a the scanner. The scanner when we put this LCD near to our face, the LCD stay black. So we need to make sure that uh, we are not covering and installing it very very accurately. So. I'm going to do so now I'm going to use the I'm not going to glue this area I'm going to start from here A thin layer but it has to be good so just a little drop on this edge and then in this area but leaving the LED there is some protection we're going to remove and this is the guarantee seal as we have checked the LCD we're going to remove this also this seal you will have in some cases depend on the manufacturer it is not It is not compulsory that you will have this seal depends on the provider where you buy the LCD so now very important stuff this is the sensor this is the LED and we need to install the LCD first this edge so we don't leave any space between this and this if you do you will end up with the sensor problem and when you make a call the LCD will stay black you know without uh, any you know you will need to turn off the phone to turn on the LCD it won't turn on until you do it so we make make sure you do it right okay
Now, after installing the LCD, okay, I have secured it with the tape and uh, sorry I couldn't record it because I'm on the job and I, I was serving my customers. So what I did when I was installing the LCD, then I use this because the LCD stay in their position. And the second thing, which is very important of this sensor. Due to the problem of sensor, I always secure this with the tape for like mm, like 20 minutes or something. Because in this particular model, well, in Redmi 7, no, Redmi 8, Redmi Note 8. Uh, yes, we always, and Redmi 8 also have problem of sensor. Uh, when you change the LCD, you get the message of, you know, the pocket mode okay pocket mode is when you put your mobile in pocket and uh, if it's turn on itself it won't turn on the LCD so you will get the error message of pocket mode and you will also have problem of sensor so that's why I will leave this tape like for 10 minutes or something so then I will close the mobile phone so I connect the LCD cable and the battery connector now this engine first because it does have this which will go like this Now we will remove a little bit of tape, not all of it, so we can work around. So, always when you are installing these kind of uh, you know parts, make sure you have to follow these you know these hinges or hooks whatever you call it. Because in this model, if you put this end and then it will be broken. So you need to put this in this model, this end first, then this end. This model also was on the same uh, length, but one of them was in black color, all of those was green and it was in the middle.
here this was black so. the this glue is doubled up you need to remove because it won't sit good in your position something like this double bubble now what we do we glue it there's few screw still need to be installed uh, if you have a if you have ever think about mobile heat so these model use their body as a heat sink okay so this screw help them uh, transferring the heat from the mobile which is you know generated when we using or playing some you know game so this screw will help take the they they use as you know as a catalyst they transport the heat from mobile phone into the the body which is made by aluminium or steel and they will help cool it down so we just do edges and whenever you see glue is double or make a bubble remove it it has to be clean I think this is the last repair with this glue because it's almost finished but I want to remove each of the stuff inside so this is the last repair of this tube Uh, make sure you always do it on the edges because it helps the resealing the mobile because obviously once the mobile is repaired the seal if the mobile was uh, waterproof you will lost the seal that's the fact so mm, make sure you do it properly on the edges so it help a little bit if it get water damage Obviously, it won't be a uh, water resistance as it was before repair. But now I just connect this cable to this. This is the finger scanner, and then just glue it. And after glue it, we again can help with this tape. So this will stay in their position. So you will need a little bit more uh, tape to secure this area and this area. So guys, this was the today's repairing tutorial. Hope if my video helped you, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Okay, thank you. Bye.